attainable desperation to block release of his Chicago University records abnormal, puzzling U.S. lawyers. A team of the United States Attorney said they are highly puzzled by President Bolatino boosts desperate antics to slow work legal proceedings and his fierce opposition to releasing his academic records. Presidential candidate Atiko Bubaka's lawyer are asking a federal court to issue a subpoena for Chicago State University to release Mr. Tinubu's school records, but the Nigerian leader is fighting tooth and nail to block the application. Court filings seen by People's Gazette should. We continue to be puzzled by Mr. Tinubu's vigorous opposition to our uh, uh, asking CSU about documents that are already in the public domain and have already been submitted in the Nigerian proceedings so that we can learn CSU's position on whether, how, and when they were provided to other Nigerian litigants and CSU's position on the authenticity of the documents. Liu Ajen, Ajel, Angela, representing Mr. Siku, wrote in an email to the lawyers of Mr. Tinubu and Chicago University on August 3rd. The Chicago State University Registrar's Office had told the Gazette that it graduated Ebola Tinumbu on June 22, 1979, but did not elaborate when pressed on whether the student was a male or female, much less if it is the same person now applying Nigeria's presidency. According to Ms. Angela, Mr. Tinubu, president of Africa's largest economy, should have been keen to clear up any inconsistencies in his academic achievements and set record straight by allowing the expedition to the legal process. If there's an explanation for the discrepancies we have identified, we would think that Mr. Tinubu would be eager to provide it. If you would like to provide an explanation to us, we are happy to consider it. That might preclude the need for, or at least expedite the, the position, the lawyer said, suggesting a willingness to com cooperate with Mr. Tinubu's legal team to shut down controversies surrounding the president's Credentials. She stressed that Mr. Tinubu's adamant refusal to grant them access to his school record has only fueled suspicions and suggested that he has something to conceal. In candor, the vehemence of Tinubu's oppositions of this discovery is increasing rather than mitigating her suspicions, Ms. Angela asserted. The attorney representing Mr. Bubaka further noted how Sinumbu was frustrating and st stalling the entire judicial process. She explained that Mr. Tinubu had been advised in writing to join the case earlier since the applicants would not oppose the request, but that he chose to remain silent and waited until Mr. Bubaka had submitted an order directing discovery of his academic records in court before expressing and interest in joining the suits. Then Mr. Tinubu turned around a week later and headed straight to the State District Court for the Northern District of Illinois to apply to join as previously advised without consulting with Mr. Bubaka, perceived as a devious delay gimmick. At the outset, applicant emphasizes that he does not oppose the motion but questions why Mr. Tinubu filed it instead of contacting and coordinating with applicants' counsel to submit a joint submission? Ms. Angela wrote in a response to Mr. Tinubu's motion to join on August 4. Thus, on July 27, 2023, almost a week prior to the filing of the application, counsel for applicants advised a counsel for Mr. Tinubu and Chicago State University that applicants intended to file the applicant the application and that he was willing to stipulate to Mr. Tinubu's intervention in the section 1782 federal action Mr. Bobaka's lawyer to the court. Mr. Bobaka is optimistic that the academic record will suppose support his case against Mr. Tinubu at the presidential elections petitions tribunal to prove that 
the recently sworn in president may have falsified his credentials and should be disqualified. <laughs> ah, this one, eh? This thing, boy, eh? not already criminal career. Are we career criminal? I in view. See, no matter tire even himself. What is he hiding? What is this guy hiding? We thought eh, it was a joke. You know, at times you see some things. And they will tell you, oh, it's just a uh, wishful or the imagination of the whatever, or the, it's a wishful thinking. But this is really happening. After wasting all this money to protect his stolen mandates, how would one expect him to perform? Grab it and run away with it. Now, Tinumbu has been subjected to be a puppet to a toy for USA government disposal. This is why Tinumbu is ready to sacrifice innocent Nigerian army to fight in Niger over matter that does not concern Nigeria. Just to please the USA government in the name of ECOWAS chairman. Historical records has no sympathy for failures, for justice can never be sacrificed on the altar of sympathy. Here is wisdom. Him who has yes, let him hear. When a man is genuine, there's nothing to fear about. Yes, a clear conscience fears no accusation. Does he have the results? That's another thing. He is always blocking, giving bribe to force himself in. Why? Very desperate, very corrupt and too old and bad record. I wonder if only few stupid corrupt Nigerians are the ones supporting this evil man. He can never be straightforward for once. I wonder always. Wuru, 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 wuru. This means that the electoral body is not even working for the interests of Nigerians, but for their paymaster. The names of the certificates is Bola De Kunle Tinubu and not and on the transcript it is f a female the owner of the certificate is a woman who where where this woman dead or alive of course this one say date of birth of woman 1954 a criminal is at light in national criminality loading the old idiot is a confirmed thief from Old Uluyo Uluyoli Abi Uluyoli boys of Balugu as is specialized in documents for you, e.g., traveler check certificates, visa, and his people know him well in Lagos. But it shows how piratically mischievous the Yoruba race is, even though they are good ones, but the minorities, they are in their minorities, and these people are the real problem Nigeria has. Not Britain or Fulani because we allow them maybe god wants to nail them this time we wait and see god's plan which is absolute rubbish